Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is VA11 Hall A, aka Valhalla. It is a bartending game? Hmm. It's a future set cyberpunk bartending game. Apparently, it goes along the lines of Papers, Please, so let's have a little bash of it. I'm not sure how long this series will last, but I wanted to give it a go because it had been recommended to me by a good friend, a Mr. Splatterkick Gaming, who seems to be recommending most of the games that I'm covering on the channel right now. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a bash. Thank you for playing VA11 Hall A. This game is best played getting com- This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy. So sit back and relax. We hope you have a good time. Well, I've already had some drinks tonight and too many snacks. I think I might explode if I have any more snacks. And I've run out of drinks, unfortunately. Loving the tunes, though. Uh, although... I've got a sneaking suspicion it might be a bit loud. Psst! Hey! Over here! Fucking hell. Boo. Oh shit, no, sorry, someone booed. I'm supposed to act like every other YouTuber. Ah, fuck! No, is that not right? I thought that was right. I thought that's how we YouTubers are supposed to act. How's that for an intro? That was fantastic, Anna. Good fucking job. Come on, Joel, look sharp. Nice. The game is starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit my little prank and you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I've got no idea what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check I should totally check that totally parcel that I totally just got. Totally. See ya, alright, see ya later. Jill exclaims nothing. How do you exclaim ellipsis? Oh, yawn. Just a dream. Hmm, there's something near the door. Chapter 1, Primera. Ah, had to click. I was like, this is taking a while. Your membership to Shining... F Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account holds at least 800 bucks by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. Now you can browse the augmented eye. Alright, so I currently have zero funds, which you can see behind the webcam. Or rather, you can't see, but I can. Welcome, Jill, boss, and me. Alright, uh, hold to unlock. Fucking hell. So there's me, I'm guessing. The best boss. I've got a slut t shirt. Nice! So who's the letter from? Jill. Nobody. Uh. Can I add an app? No, apparently not. What's A? The Augmented Eye. Mass immigration continues as Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg in Heels returns next year. His acting is unnatural, I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyway. Cyborg and Heels returns next year to the Super Silver Thunderdome. The popular show Cyborg and Heels returns to the dome this March with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborg and Heels is a massive stage show about a cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Director Quentin Hayter explains Cyborg and Heels special appeal during an exclusive interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalise on. Check out the full, full interview in the next few weeks, exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. His acting is unnatural. I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyway. <laughs> well, right, 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 okay, I get it. Mass immigration continues as Quincy reveals new economic adjustments. With inflation rates among the, the highest in the world, constant shortages of basic groceries and rampant violent crime glitch cities, citizens look for a better life in other countries. Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in their schools and universities, the Prime Minister said during an, a talk with the Augmented Eye, but they apply what they learn somewhere else, and I find it rather insulting. 
This comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current environment. They don't know shit, concluded Quincy. Would you leave? Not without you. Who the fuck is for? Is for the cat? Am I talking to the cat? Wonderlanders and the newest threat to your security. Beware! If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at cracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've taken, uh, they've yet to make an impact as big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aimed, they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and will release the whole database this January, the group declared during a stream. Shallow threats. When questioned, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all of the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Well, parties. The people behind the Wonderlanders seem to be enjoying in all, uh, enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit cos costumes during the stream. From Anthro to Bunny Girl, the purpose was to show the love and the love and respect they have for Alice Rabbit and the role in today's politics. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll tell. Uh, but we'll be there to tell you if it does. All right, okay. Oh, nice! I can put some some tunes on. No thanks. All right. Life backup is the the save game system. Well, let's shove one in there. Cool beans, and we can add two apps that we can't actually add. Alright. Ah, uh, I wonder what Alma thinks of this whole thing. Okay, let's go to work, because we've got nothing else to do. Tuesday, December 13th. Oh, we're coming up to Christmas. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Jill. Oh, hey, John. I'm a, I'm a female called Jill. When will you admit you have a John face? Jill? Jill? Gil? Gil. No, Jill. His name's Jillian. Will you let people call you Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? I don't know, she went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yeah, that you look distracted. Very, very distracted. There's nothing, I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I'll have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Ah. There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact two days ago I found out his bar is at risk of closing. So not only has my life been shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss the rent again. And there, there, there are? There are all the beer cans around my apartment and... Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest, but bear with me for a second here, okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book. That'll show up in the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavours like sweet and types like manly. Get a manly drink. Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the centre. Jill. When done, press the mix button, and then press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button on the drink itself to serve it, and that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving, don't be afraid to use it. Jill, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction, and there should be no problem. Sigh. Jill wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button at any time. Uh, use the navigation bar to start browsing. Uh, by name, I'm looking for a sugar rush. I'll do wait once. Uh, two Adelheid, one powder delta, with optional cometrine all mixed. So what the fuck was that? Two, two reds, one of that, and an optional one of them all mixed. Need to. Sweet, light, and fruity, as girly as it gets. Alright, and then serve it. Did I fuck it? So that's two reds. That. And some optional that. Mix it. Ah, right, okay, so I just needed mixing, not mixed well. Okay. Here, happy now? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. Sigh. 
I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. It's done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's been blended when the shaker starts moving faster. Ah, right, okay. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check ice and age button on the side to select the one you need. And in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab. It should be noted that the station will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind though, it's just a fun fact. Okay. Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. I know what you said. You want a moon blast? It's uh, six red. Four, five, six. Wow, that's freaking the fuck out of my screen. Not on your screen, it was fuck freaking the fuck out of my screen. Powder Delta, that, and two of these. Uh, all on the rocks and blended. No relation to the Hadron Cannon you can see on the moon for one week every month. Sweet, girly, and happy. It's a moon blast. Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did, sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink's already big. Alright. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional carmatrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Carmatrine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but but the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey guys! Hey Dana. Oh, but, uh, eh. Uh. Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. <laughs> then why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. What the fuck?! She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that? That's up for, that's up to you to deal with. <laughs> I'll be in my office. What the fuck? I'm just pushing that responsibility onto us. We've got work to do, damn it. There's two of you believe in yourselves. You just brought in a fucking unconscious chick for us to deal with. You think Chief knocked her out? What the hell? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. Oh, that was a chick. Okay. It's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. What the fuck's going on here? We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems like she's sleeping soundly, not comatosed. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, Jill. Or Gil, Jill, that guy. You, get wrecked. While well, you spent a whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking. Jill, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that, Jill? Really? So, as a punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Uh, fine. See, no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Got that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine! With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox! This model needs to have all the 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder what the logic behind that decision was. Uh, I'm not really... Uh, I'm kinda happy that it's got a lot of music, but I'm still worried about... Uh, take mixed drinks and change lives. Hey you! Give me a beer! Oh, sure, right, on it. He wants a beer. Looks like quite a big guy though. How do I make beer? One of those... Two of those, one of those, two of those, four of those. Traditionally brewed beers become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. All mixed, alright. There you go. No, no, this isn't going to cut it. Give me a big one. Uh, sure. What dick? Alright, let's... Two of them, one of them, and wait, how did I do that then? Oh, okay. There we go. There's a big beer. How about this one? Ah, yes. This one's fit for a man like me. Alright mate, you could have just came and bought two, you fucking idiot. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. 
Although to be fair, work has taken me to worse hell holes like New Jersey 3. Huh? What kind of work do you do, mister? You talk to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. It is started quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the bar the the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit then? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard ha card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks. From all kinds of people, Jesus. And clicks bring money and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. Sounds a lot like the Resident Evil 7 demo recently. <laughs> uh, I can't read your newspapers daily with <laughs> I can't read your newspapers daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it, my interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full time employees. I'm just capitalizing on the topic while it's popular. God. And second, you're, <laughs> you're tired of one article about a supposed hacker? But not all the daily stories about murders and other horrors? Well, I always felt out that's that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid, but if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get decente dis People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. <laughs> Desensitize me. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly women being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. <laughs> That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legend. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. <laughs> Spam them while they're hot and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories will see them. Uh, that brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he's got a point. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing so much because it reminds me so much of certain YouTubers. Uh, what about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. They may also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is they know half of our clicks come from them, so they'll get all diva-like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about... Nah, wait, I was thinking about another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. See? <laughs> the Kid in the Restaurant critique column. Um, uh, shit, forgot that brat's name. Restaurant, I believe that's, uh... Yeah, that kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He really writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Jeez, can we get back to the game instead of the chatty chatty? Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk's made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Uh, I'd already gave him a beer. The thing is, I guess that you kind of get used to making these as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. There we go. Boom! Big beer for you, sir. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. That's what she said. What about big troubles? Did I start, kid? All right. So, tell me. Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. <laughs> uh, if a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who is that? Ah, uh, nobody important. Ah, uh, don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Uh, not really. At least, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And don't call me honey. You're going the right way for a fucking... Wallop? <laughs> I was going to say so many other things and then wallop came out. 
And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people, especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folk pretend to love, but actually want to see- Those folk people pretend to love, but actually want to see fall from grace. Pretend to love, fall from grace? Why do you think the gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is their idols to come down to their level. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys but nobody wants to admit and join. God, the comparisons to YouTube that this guy is making is ridiculous. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal of that full thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in a random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Granted, socks with sandals is pr practically a public indecency, but still. Oh please, a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Your kind? Fucking racist. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. Even if that is the case, I don't sensationalise what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalise is the key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones that are constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help sensationalising everything. It feels like they're investigating a behaviour that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. Look like your big words, eh, brat? Well, now I'm a brat. Well, two can play that game of... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hellbent on world conquest. <laughs> Uh, what are we gonna to do tomorrow night, Pinky? Uh, sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realised that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like the priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. <laughs> People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender, a personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting. Half our staff do that. They do? You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? <laughs> Figures. Anyway. Eventually people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all, I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan! Fucking hell, man. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson, or boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is. Mr. Dawson is my father and grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan? Now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Don't your employees to get personal with you, <laughs> Mr. Donovan? Oh gods no, but I want them to fear me. <laughs> not because I'm their boss, or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike moral dread into them. Fucking hell dude, calm the fuck down. Start tomorrow, I'm gonna make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something? What was it? Drink, another one, do you want one? Ah yes. I need to cut myself off, I just remembered I've got night shift later. Give me something better and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. Something better and big with no alcohol. Uh, Alright, by... Okay. By flavour, I want bitter. Uh, there you go. Bitter and big, so we're looking at... Four of that, and... Four of that. Uh, on the rocks and blended. Tastes like old chocolate milk, and it's good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Bitter girly and soft, ooh. Bitter manly and burning, oh let's go with that instead for him. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
Oh no, that's actually... Oh shit. Uh, let's go bitter drinks again. The gut punch. Ah, there we go. Bitter, manly, and strong. So one. Oh shit. Reset. One, two, three, four, five, and five. Uh, and two of them. All aged and mixed. There we go. There's a gut punch for you, mate. There you go. Paint me blue and call me Sue. Yeah, you, you can actually do it. This will help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? You didn't call it hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give his money if we stamped the, <laughs> if we stamped his face all over the place. Aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> wow. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's. I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their noses. They have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's all paperwork. I make somebody else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff that they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what the other newspaper does? Recently they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy, while still keeping production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what happens when I do what they want, and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Uh, should I be worried? Nah. At least they paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven though. We never heard from him again. Jill! Yes. What the hell happened in that bathroom? That was loads of dogs, mate. That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. <laughs> you think their short legs would hinder them. The ceilings, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to the Valhalla. What can I... And before we do that, we're going to have to call it an episode. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. And with this being the first episode of a new series, I would like you guys to drop in the comment section below your favourite drink that you order at a bar. It can be anything from something manly and bitter <laughs> to just something super simple. But if you've got a favourite drink or a favourite brand, drop that in the comment section below because I'd like to know. It'd be interesting to know. My favourite drink, as many of you will know, my favourite drink is whiskey and my favourite whiskey is Octomore from the, the Isle of Isla in Scotland. So, let me know in the comment section below and remember if you enjoyed the episode to drop a like. But as always, I've been Steve, you've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.